Uh, Dennis Proc again. We have the water that we collected. We have the jar with the rubber band around it and the coffee filter that's been given as much of a cavity as possible. It just quickens things up. We will pour it. Oh, this is a nice color. This is going to have a lot of good stuff. I don't have a ton of silt in there, so it shouldn't take too long. We can see the water coming down. We're going to take it down to about a teaspoon, and then we're going to sample it out and see what we've got. It should take about maybe about 10 minutes at this point. Thanks. Hi. We have filtered it down, our, our pond water, till we just have a little bit in there. We have taken out some things that would really be cool. I have a uh, a dra I think it's a dragonfly nymph. Can you, uh, you want to see that first, how this is, appears in, in, in reality, I mean in true size, and then I'm going to put him right in the center, and you're going to try to take a shot of him, but he is moving. Let me move him along. Very uncooperative dragonfly nymph. Hold on, guys. There he goes. Now I'm going to probably let him go. Uh, what else we got in there? He can become a dragonfly. Beautiful, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Now we have a lot of small things in there we're going to shoot in a second. Put some still shots in here too for you. Let's see. Oh, look at him. All right, we're going to show you how surface tension can work for you or against you. Surface tension is that phenomena that makes water ball up. It actually makes water refract and can interfere at high power. But at low power, it's fine. Let's take a look at this, what I have left of this puddle here that I've created with the filter. and. Try to get him out. I saw something, and now I'm going to just put one drop. You see the creature in there? Oh, it's better with a white background. Things show up really well in a white background. Now I'm going to put him under the microscope. He can't go anywhere. The field of view is about a quarter of an inch, and so is that drop. That's I've never really seen one of these before. Let's take a look at what we have here. Put that camera on. Let me get out of the way. Now he can't move because the water droplet is the size of the field of view. This is you can't you can run but you can't hide. Now the surface tension is helping us; it's keeping him prisoner. This is at low power. In a high power, I need to do something totally different. Let's take a look at what I do now. I now have the 10x on the front. That's 10 times 5, which is 50x, and we were at 20x before. But I want to do something now. I'm going to use this detergent to get rid of surface tension. I'm going to take some stuff out of my filtration here, off the top and off the bottom. I don't want too much silt. It makes it hard to see through. Now, if you take a look at that, it's not spread evenly. That's the problem. We want it to be spread evenly. This is where uh, you can wash your hands when you're done, and that'll be obvious to you when you look through this. Now, that's gone now. That surface tension disappeared by just touching the top of this uh, detergent. Now I can look at it at high power, but I need to understand that it will go in the water. If I put this at the top of that ramp, it won't go in the water. And I can actually take a look through. So let's take a look and see what we got. Now we've taken a well slide, also known as a cavity slide. It's a slide with a depression in it. Take a long shot of that. Show that. That will hold a couple, two or three drops of water, where with a regular slide, you're really not holding anything. Now, very high power 40X, that's when you start using cover glasses, because the glass actually becomes part of the formula. Now remember, surface tension, you want to get rid of it at, at 10X or, or when you're using the 10X, which I, you don't want it there. But here, it, it actually helps me hold water. And, that, and we got a good shot of that, I hope. But they move at a million miles an hour, and there's actually products to help slow it down. But clear corn syrup can be used to slow down the protozoa. But it, it, whatever, you need to understand that they're moving at 200 miles an hour in their world. It's kind of cool. Here we found something macroscopic, and we want to look at it microscopically. We can keep the surface tension 
uh, in our favor. Right now, it's a heavy quarter inch. It should be a little bigger than the field of view. And you can take the camera and look down and get a good view, especially if I put him in the center like that. Now this guy has eye spots and that's a total creature with all, all the things that make life. Reproductive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system. Everything, that little package. Cool. Got a really great view of this little guy. I want to thank you for watching. I hope I answered some of your questions. And we're going to be doing more of these videos. Just call our office and tell us what you want to know. We'll try to put it on there for you. Wave goodbye. He's actually waving goodbye. You can see this right now. He's going like that. Thank you. Take care.